Mi salon people de mona kushe o. Dis na Dr. Bull, we de na North Carolina, America, with another edition of Two Say Talk Me. This edition go focus on the state of education na salon. We country in education. The best way I go describe them na bome rubbish. Una no it na bome na they would go through it or tea. Well, na so we 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 country in education don't talek. And me, I decide for talk because me na professor of education in America. And as professor, I the app not only the American system. But the app the American picking them for letting them better. And if me, the app American education system and American picking them for better, me are for help me country. And I don't try plenty for help me country by education, but do not look me with good eye. But NGC and Kande Yumkela, they want to listen to we all with the, not the diaspora. We're in a different field, and we plenty. So, do ya una sidom, una follow na hand, una kakuna yes, make una listen to the trouble all day. See, when I me make salon, we na me na me number one by education. We sabi book tete, nobody na Africa, no me pass we. We sabi book tete, the first black man, forget. A bachelor degree in America, inside the United States of America, in 1826. Na salon boy. In name na Edward Jones. He sabi book tete e tekan ego salon. Ego ep open frabe kole. Na ne na dono we go we make salon grammar school. The first high school for bobo de normal for go school for lambuk. That means to say we are number one. We sweet we. We say the girl picking there. They self get for go school. They make Annie Walsh Memorial School. We are for girl picking there in 1849. And you know, don't know. We don't know sweet pass all rules. I be book na salon. One was a low boy. We name Christian Cole. Now in first black man ever for go na Oxford University na England. He graduate and be the first black man Sierra Leonean ever in the world for practice law in the English court. Bo, how we go come out by force, by all in 1877 and in 2017 with the last by all team. The country, Edinburgh. But, for I explain this to a better, better one, I de use the national census data when an APC self, 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 self writer say we don't count all the people in a salon, we don't ask the waiting that they do, we don't look all around the way they go to school, now this, now we get. So, if you look the 56 year, what would they by independence? Now, APC, SLPPO, this now the result where they, they give we. So now we begin on a yes. This are 2015 and one. The results say we na salon, we get 7.1 million people at the round up. So you go understand. But now 7.1 million people there, 41%, they all 15 years and less, which is very, very good for we. That 41%, 15 years or less. That means we get a very young, young population. We go better on the NGC because they go, they go make them better. Then, on top of that, we get the, the, the population where they work, down the way 15 to 64, they say now 56%. So, which means 56%, they are the middle one, Pana group day. Then for that, the way all were called grandpa and grandpa, this one has surprised me. For that, the way 65 and above. Hmm. Now 3.5%. 250,000 out of 7.1 million. You know what you make that number there, also? Hmm. 
like the mortality rate, the health not day. So all man they die before they even turn 65. So for me, 65 now, na luxury, na salon. And at this pace at which we they go, if we not change, and to na see na percentage, we will say, na 3.5% number of people, they make them to 65 and above. Well, if we take that working population, we na 15 year to 64 year, now working population day, 3.5 million people of the 4 million go die before then turn 65. Let me repeat that for you, let you understand. The census say we get 4 million people out of the 7.1, we're all 15 to 64. And if the correct data they show we say, now only 3.5% of the population they make unto 65 and above. If we continue at this pace, 3.7 million people were all 15 to 64 go die before they turn 65. Which you do because better health not day. I mean, saying education at the top, but but I just rub now lily one in a corner, let you understand how things bad. So not talk about education. Not talk about the state of education as a law. First of all, one third of the school level, na salon, especially na the free toilet area, no get toilet, latrine no day, south side five hundred picking day, seven hundred picking day. Just use your imagination. No toilet. Half of the same school level no get toilet. No get water. So, so school level get toilet, you no get water. No, no get water for drink, no, no get water for flush toilet, no, no get water for wash the hand. I want you to use your imagination about the state of things. 75% of the school then, no get electricity. Total darkness. Na de 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 land, no technology, no the work. 75%. The average school day, na four and a half hour. He can't lunch and he says so. Wait in the beginning of the land. The teacher them, they know they get pay. To the point where teacher them, they, they sell notes to the picking them, and then they will go to the lesson, we will pay the extra money, now then they pass. It don't bad off day when they picking and take them back here exam, where the result come up. For let the teacher show the normal whether they pass or not, then get for put for the teacher. How we move from first now West Africa and Africa to last. Now bad governance. Now bad governance. Well, make I go on some more statistics because we're in education, the numbers and the APC the number where they do not the census now at the give you. Three top. I know they make them. I don't see you let yourself understand. Until we say democracy is built on literacy, it's government for the people, by the people, for the people, and you have to understand. So now that they understand why we were the diaspora, that they tell you say too long all the way, because the education they give them, now one of oppressed education, and they don't make sure say they educate enough. So now take the numbers then. Okay? So I tell mean tell I say we get 6.5 million people. Where they age three and above, way for go school. Of now 6.5 million day, only 55%, nearly half, nine don't duck in the doors of any school. We we'll not say them don't know, they wake one morning, no more, they say I go class one. Then at 3.6 million. That means to say 2.9 million. With an M. No one day gonna any school say A, B, C, D. 2.9 million people. And at all the dance and vote right now. Because they don't understand. And we're not gonna blame them. It's sad. So 2.9 million, no one day go school. Okay? 
So of the 3.6 million that we go to school, let we begin look at their level of literacy. Okay? So of that 3 point million they will begin school, only 65% now make and through primary education. That is 2.4 million. Now you survive the primary education. Okay? That means to say, at the primary education in Sef Sef Nasaralion, we get a 1.2 million dropout. Now 1.2 million dropout today, don't go join now other group where I'm in talk about, where no one day attend school. Remember I mean say 2.9 million, no one day attend school. Well, I we try for go elementary school. 1.2 dropout. So if you put them two the day together, we don't reach 4.1 million people where we could just pull and push the corner, say, that way na illiterate. Because the level at which they drop, they may not even be functional literate. So you remember I mean, so we get 7.1 million people. Well, 4.1 already confirm. Say either the normal school or they start elementary, primary school, then drop out. So let's continue with the data. Let you understand. So that 4.1 day, now 63% of the Sierra Leone population already illiterate right now. So now we go secondary. But the secondary, we take 2.4 million now when the balance we left for. But now when they wait three years and older away for go school, we go school. And according to the census report, now I mean 48% of them no more we'll go register. That means half of them, away from the go school back, decided not to go school. Now they drop another 1.2 million per that group day. So if you add that to another 4.1, it don't turn 5.3 million where they decided to me another go secondary school. And according to the report, the, the census, the retention rate of them and the way they decided that they go school, secondary school, now 14% no more nine don't school. 14%. So if you look at this population now of the underway for go school, now 350,000 no more don't school. But now 2.4 million now they have up say they go secondary school. Oh. So here in the back we get a 2.15 million dropout at the high school. This matter and I don't, it, 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 you had self now for don't pull for your country. Because while they put all the maths together based on the census report of 2015, you had to go well. So let me put the numbers back together now. Let me see if all add up a waiting at this literacy in a salon. So for that one, they will drop out of high school. Let me give them credit. Let me call them functional and then go write and then go be able to engage. But they're not going to go to college and get a professional degree. But they're not even done the high school for let them go see, then get a high school diploma. Now, if we put all the numbers here together, if you remember now, we just now say from the high school level, now 2.1 million drop in the high school. But now, Lily Abopo will get. From the illiteracy group, and then they will drop in the elementary, now 4.1 million. If we put them two groups in there together, we get a total of 6.2 million out of a population of 6.5 we're supposed to be educated. Because the, the balance for 7.1 are picking the way they 0 to 3. So when you do the math of the 7.1 percent 7.1 population million people, and then you take this 6.2 million, if you do the percentage, we have 87 percent illiteracy in the salon. And 13 percent literacy, the one we go read and write. And then numbers there, are, how you see the salon government, APC Duam, now we take it as face value. They do a good job for Pula. Well, me people in a salon, now the state of education that we will get. We get a young population, we not get educated, we not get grandpa and granny no more because they hold the die. 
my fellow Sierra Leoneans, na this una want continue with in Hala Tolumbo. Na this una want continue with and say one country, one people. We get for put with tribal sentiments to the side. We get for put with party affiliation to the side. We get for educate the future of Sierra Leone. Now forty percent of the population. With all loss, sixty percent of the population will fail since independence. Do ya? Do ya, me people? Eh? We waiting at the field of education. We all are ready for Thai Kata. We can make sure say this new generation in 2018 under NGC under the presidency of KKY. Do ya? Let will not fail them again. We get intellectual resources. Forget about the natural resources. Now we are the first part all team. Pambuku. Now West Africa. Now America. Now Oxford. University. High school. For Bobo. For Titio. We are number one. Do ya? And the appeal to now. Let we be number one again. As Sierra Leoneans. We shall be book. God bless Sierra Leone. And God bless all of you today, and I hope that you will live for C. We pick in them, na salon. Get degree there again, go Oxford, and be number one in space exploration and all the way that they try for do. Goodbye.